I remember many, many years ago, many a times going to archives with Auntie Yuna, and I thought, oh, here we go. And she'd said, photocopy this boy, photocopy that. Had no idea what I was photocopying. Wasn't until maybe a year or so later, I decided to turn one of those papers. <laughs> and it sent me spiralling on a journey that the original people of those particular lands close to the project are the descendants of Waifetu. What Archives New Zealand holds is roughly 7.2 million archives. The obvious high visibility archives are the Te of Waitangi, He Whakaputanga and the Suffrage Treaty are well-known constitutional documents, but they're just the tip of the iceberg. Archives Wellington has never had a purpose-built building. They've always had to do with refitted buildings that weren't designed for archives use. This new building is purpose-designed and has many features. My first question around this new build was, where are mana whenua, have we approached them? This particular land that the National Library and the new Archives New Zealand building will be on part of the traditional Pipitea Pā whenua. This was their neighbourhood, this was where their whare were, this was where they grew their kai, where they raised their families and where they buried their dead. Co-design, for me it's a really simple concept, it means designing together. Having the designers being the architects, Warren Amani, and Taranaki Whanui Te Atiawa through Dangi, sitting at the same table, uh, looking at what the concept, what the story of this place is. We knew a bit about Rangi. We knew that he was not going to hold back on his thoughts, and I think early on we decided that actually if we really opened up to this process, there was something special that could happen. What I try to do is to use the stuff that people call art, which is actually our culture, the things that convey and keep alive and relevant, ethics, values, norms, codes of conduct, you know, all of those sorts of things, try and figure out how to embed that into, into the building. Not so that it just gives us visibility, but actually that it plays a role in decolonising the institution and sets a new paradigm for a change in culture of the organisation. It's about place, it's about acknowledging that when we are working particularly in a digital world, digital can become disconnected and a sense of place is always really important for Māori and this is a place where our tonga can be safe but also we can reconnect with them. The generosity of mana whenua and sharing the stories of what happened on this whenua can't be underestimated. The integrated, tangible co-design elements will be a daily reminder for our kaimahi and our visitors of that relationship with iwi Māori and mana whenua. For me, my auntie's been here, my aunties and uncles have been here. O ngā tini e, o ngā mano e, pepitea e hora nei, ngā ahi kāroa, kāruku i te one, haukawa kawa.